you're basically creating small little graduated areas as you work up the head. What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna to be going over a short disconnected haircut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna section right uh, above that parietal ridge area. So this little uh, curve of the head right here, that's the parietal ridge. So I comb that hair back and then I'm gonna draw a line straight back, just like that, nice horizontal line. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna comb this hair up and over right at that crown area. And I'm gonna draw another horizontal line across mid crown. And I'm gonna comb this hair now forward cause that's how I'm gonna part it. And now what I'll do is I'll kind of stand in front of my client. And when I stand in front of him, I can really see kind of with my thumb where I want that end point to be. So I can see this end point here. I hold that with my thumb. And then when I wanna balance it, I can hold my thumb right there. And then when I turn him around and I decide where I wanna comb this hair forward to, I know what point, at about what point, I wanna hit with my thumb. Then you look in your mirror and you can decide if it's balanced enough for your liking. Next move is to work horizontally with our wide comb. There's a couple different combs that you can use. I think it's the 258 from uh, YS Park, I believe is one comb that I choose often. Uh, and then I have this guy, which I got at just a beauty supply store. But I love this comb because it's super wide. And the other thing I like about it is it's very slippery. And the reason I like that is because when I'm removing bulk with a clipper, it just works really well to slide across the top of that clipper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna scoop up the hair and remove that bulk. Now there's a couple things that you have to understand when you're cutting clipper over comb. You're basically creating small little graduated areas as you work up the head. Now, you don't want too much graduation in a disconnected haircut. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this up kinda tight to the top of the head. So we're gonna go graduation slightly all the way up and then that's where we go there. All right, so here we go. So we bring the hair back, I comb it through. I don't really care because I wanna work quickly. I don't really care if I get everything in this, especially when I'm trying to just get the bulk out of the hair. So I'll lift it up and I'll just start getting the hair shorter as I work up horizontally. Now this isn't the, the final length. All right, so I'm gonna work my way back. So again, scooping out like this, and then working diagonal back on the head shape. Now, there's something we have to be aware of as we move into the back of the head is this crown area. I do not wanna shave this all the way up to this mid crown. So what I may do is just section off a triangle to give you guys more of a visual. Actually, I will do that. Obviously, you guys can section it off if it makes you more comfortable as well. So a little triangle. I point the tip of that triangle to the occipital bone uh, in the head shape. So now I'm just gonna work diagonal back on the head. Couple of things you might notice about what I'm doing. I switch the comb back and forth a lot. Now, if you think about haircutting in general, if I cut everything horizontally, then I might check it vertically, right? Cross checking. So same thing with clippering. If I'm doing it diagonal back and I work through and cut my line and then I go diagonal forward, I'm really just cross checking and cleaning everything up. The other thing is right along this ridge, this hair gets a little bit longer. That's our graduation, right? So you can see how it kind of builds up and we're building up that kind of straight line right there. So I'm gonna come up 
and I'm gonna soften that graduation just a little bit right along the edge because you don't really want this hair sticking up over and then having a ton of weight lines sticking out. So see how I just soften that edge just a little bit? Now, we go along these edges, you can see it's a little bit longer here. So now I go in with my clipper guards. Now I go in, I got my Andis T trimmer. So now, obviously, I'm going to cut into it a little bit, soften it up. But I'm gonna take this first little triangle bit out here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a diagonal back parting, just like this, hold it in my hand like this, and I'm gonna take the tri-razor, and I'm just gonna glide it right through. So I take the tri-razor, I can see this length underneath, and that's about what I wanna match up with. And I just glide right through and cut it nice and short. Take another diagonal back parting, bring this over to that section. So over top of the previous, slide and glide that through. It starts to build up a little bit of weight. Now, we got that weight, it starts to go diagonal back. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my sections just like this, take a section, bring it back, cut it right across here in the back. And I'm just gonna take the 100% tech uh, cutting side and just work my way across the top. But it's nice and soft because we're doing it with a razor. Now, if you wanted to do it with scissors, you could do that as well. And I'll show you guys maybe the difference there. I'll take the same party in the back, but I'll just bring this hair back to me like this just like this back to me, and I'll point cut across the top. All right, so right here, you can see, it's still got quite a bit of volume, quite a bit of length. Some people really like that. I have a couple clients that like to keep it uh, nice and long in the front like that. I'm gonna blow this dry and then uh, give it a little bit of style and then we're gonna cut into it with a little point cutting. I'm gonna show you guys a couple tricks with the tri-razor and then you know we'll go from there. Couple tips here. I like to take the brush, add some uh, tension and kind of hold this hair up. And what that'll do is allow me to hit it, hit it with the blow dryer, just like this, Minerva blow dryer, by the way. Hit it just like this and allow that heat to make the hair stand. I haven't put any product in the hair yet. You could always use like a little bit of a, a light hold gel if you wanted to, but you don't have to. And I like to just keep that heat in and just really smooth that hair out. And then once I get the style kind of looking in the direction I want it to be, then that's when I'll, you know, kind of stop the blow dry. But you can see uh, it's got tons of volume already, nice little flow to it, but it does feel a little bit heavy in certain areas, which is what I like to see uh, so I can go in and, and kind of take care of that. All right, so here is a couple tricks with the tri-razor. You got somebody with thicker hair, horizontal section, comb the rest forward, Velcro clip. Now I can take this hair and go mid shaft if I want to, 25 texture and just work in that way. So just like this, pop it in and I'll just remove a good amount of weight. You also do that with a texturizing scissor. I just really love the versatility and using a razor in my haircuts. So that pops through, gives some texture into the haircut and also removing some of that weight.
See how it starts to, now it's like a little bit fuller and then just gets a little sleeker towards the back. That's all part of that texturizing. What's another thing that happens with this haircut is this front can kind of fall down. So depending on which way they want to wear it, um, you could always cut into it a little bit. Like if I wanted to, if they're going to wear it off to this side. Sometimes I'll just come into this corner here and I'll take this hair and I'll just soften it. I can use 25 texture so I don't cut everything and just kind of soften through it so that that starts to lay a little bit nicer and it doesn't flop down as much. And now, and in this back point, because we cut everything with a razor, it doesn't perfectly blend right here. So you could either do scissor over comb, which is what I'm gonna do, or you could do clipper over comb again like we did at the beginning of the video. So now we can finish it off with a couple different style products. First one that I'm gonna use is Barber's Classic. 